Welcome to Greek Girls Kitchen. Welcome. I'm Sophia. I'm Melina. I'm known as the sweet one, but only in the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm known as the savory, but we're just gonna go with spicy, right? Spicy, I yes. like you spicy. spicy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to a happy cooking. We're gonna show you some amazing things today. Mediterranean Greek with a little bit of wine. Um, we chose this domain. Costa Lazaridi, which is a Merlot Rosé, mm. and it's going to pair very nicely between Sophia's appetizer and my dessert, and we'll touch on that a little bit more later. So I met Melina at a Greek festival. I went with my sister. Typical of two Greeks meeting each other at a Greek festival, but it's been a sisterhood ever since. We have so many things in common. We love to cook with each other. We do a lot of lives. Uh, we cook together with the daughters of Penelope. I am going to prepare for you one of my favorite appetizers. It is sweet and savory, yep. kind of like us. Yes. And it's warm and crunchy, so it's a crowd pleaser. I make it a lot for some of my catering jobs and private dinners. So here we go. Here is our phyllo. This is size number 10. It does not matter what size you use. So we have our Greek olive oil here. Which I'm just gonna put in a bowl on the side. And this is going to be our glue. So you can also use butter if you want. I'm gonna use a pastry brush. So we're gonna do about three, three layers for this. Oh, this is Melina's favorite. My favorite <laughs> thing ever. Feta and brine is more creamy, Lonsome. more flavorful. It's not as dry as crumbled feta that you would buy in a normal supermarket. So today, I'm just gonna get to a nice size. So I'm just gonna take this beautiful feta and just get it right in here. And just break it off with your hands. For this, I got some delicious Kalamata olive spread, which I'm just going to dollop on top. And then Melina's gonna make fun of me. Her capers, we can't cook without her capers. I hated them growing up, and as I got older, I really started to appreciate their flavor. And then we have some dried oregano and dried mint. So I'm just putting some fresh parsley. I'm just gonna trim up these edges. So now I'm gonna take the olive oil and just put it on the edges. This is gonna be your glue again. And you're just gonna start collecting. There's no way to ruin this. And we're gonna put this little pocket right on here. And we're just gonna set this in the middle of the oven on your middle rack. Oh, it looks beautiful. So beautiful. Taste tester right here. Awesome. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. So we're just gonna scoop it onto our beautiful plate. And now we're gonna top it with all of these delicious toppings. Here is our Greek honey and it has these beautiful giant figs. Look at that. So we're gonna just place these around. Your mouth watering mm -hmm. yet? <laughs> yep, I'm <laughs> waiting for you to just hurry up. I'm gonna put our golden raisins. So we're just gonna drizzle this honey. Yep. Now it's time to taste. This is the fun part. I've been waiting and waiting for this moment right now. Here you go. Oh my God. Nice big bite. <laughs> so the inspiration from this dish, oh my I was God. on the island of Milos. And it was just traditional feta, phyllo, honey. The flavors of every piece of this. This is amazing. Cheers to you, Thank my friend. Thank you. It you is just a party in here. <laughs> I thought I had this good in Greece, but this just actually took me. So now I am going to show a little dessert to you. So I decided to make this bugatza merenda trifle. So we're gonna do our basic steps walking you through a traditional bugatza, and then I'm gonna break it down and take you to a whole other level. We're gonna start off here with our basic, like I said, our basic custard for the bugatza. We're gonna take our two eggs, egg yolk, and a sugar. There's a lot of whisking involved in this dessert, guys, but it's okay. It's part of life, it's part of the fun. Very loud. We 
We are just at the right consistency here. On to our next step. So we made a simple custard from milk, eggs, sugar, and a little bit of farina. My little secret ingredient here, I love this, I don't know, it just smells like a little bakery and a little pouch, right? So that's powdered vanilla. It's a vanilla sugar. So it's got a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of a sugar kick to it. I'm just gonna mix that in so it incorporates all the flavors in there. So we're gonna let our custard cool. And when custard cools, if you don't put saran wrap or a plastic wrap over it, it will build a film on top. So we wanna make sure we take our plastic and the plastic is going to touch the custard right down. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna let this chill, cool to room temperature before we get ready to layer our filo dough. We're gonna move on here now to the next step of this amazing dessert. But before I layer our filo dough and put our custard in, I'm gonna have Sophia's gonna help me make our merenda. Fresh whipped cream, which is very easy. Three simple ingredients and takes about a minute or so to get this to the consistency. put this in the fridge. Perfect. So we are gonna get ready here to layer. I did go with filo dough number seven for this dessert. And now the, the key is you want your layers to hang over your dish because we're gonna fold them in at the end. It helps keep the custard inside so it doesn't drip out when it's baking. And you don't need a lot of butter. Just a little bit goes a long way. So we're gonna do about maybe five layers on the bottom. Before this goes in the oven, and with any type of filo dough, whether you're working with spanakopita, spinach pie, cheese pie, baklava, brugatza, you do want to pre-score your dough. So we're just going to take a knife. You don't have to cut straight through to the bottom, but you just want to score at least the top layer of the dough. So we are ready. We're just going to put this in the oven. It's the oven set at 350. We're going to put it in for about 40 minutes, so just till the top gets a nice golden brown color. So our brugatza has cooled off. We have all of our fillings here ready to layer. I picked these fancy little martini glasses. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of a merenda drizzle Ooh. on the bottom. And we're gonna put a nice piece of our bugatza right there, smush it in. Ooh. put some of the merenda, which is the hazelnut chocolate spread, on these little Greek toasts. How do you pronounce them, Melina? Friganias. She's got that Greek accent. I just can't win. Going in. Taste test. Hi. That's a dessert. We hope you enjoyed our first episode of our YouTube channel. We are so thankful for everyone who supports us. We're gonna give a cheers to our creative team. Thank you so much, Maria, Lauren, Kyle, and Melissa for helping us throughout everything. We couldn't have done this without you. Cheers! Cheers! cheers. 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 Yeah. 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 Opa! We did it. <laughs> yes.